Where are we going? The office. <laughs> Yay, the office. <laughs> Just in case you're curious. Paul Meyer's here. Denise Meyer's here. Road Warrior Investors. That it is. And we're getting ready to go back out in the field, but this time, I think we're hitting a few other states. Going on a road trip. On the road again. But uh, we are in our office here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We are. Uh, we've got a few states uh, we're going to be hitting, uh, and we actually head out this Friday. Yep. And we'll be gone for a little over a month uh, before we get back home. Uh, but I'm excited. We have a lot of different people we're going to be meeting up with, a lot of different real estate investors, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. as well as some friends and colleagues along the way. And so seeing parts of the beautiful country as well. I'm excited. I know. It'll yeah. be fun. Uh, so we thought we'd come out here today before we head out and address a couple of different questions that we've been getting. Um, and, you know, Paul and I have been talking about these same four questions and we plan to ask these four questions to a lot of the real estate investors that we plan to meet up with as we go hit the road as yeah. part of Road Warrior Investors. Yeah. We... Question one. Yeah. What's question one? So question one basically is, is how is one way that you, you can think of to get into real estate investing? We'll, we'll ask this question, uh, we'll explain how we got into it, we'll explain some ideas to get into real estate investing, how to do it. Yeah, That's it's a big one. topic right now. I mean, just how do you get into it? How do you start? What do you yep. do? Where do you, yep. How do you start? Um, so that's question one. Question, question two, two, leads. Leads, so what is the best way to get leads um, so you can actually run a, a successful business and that's really the key to uh, what we do is to have leads yeah. to have people calling you and then figuring out ways to, to um, buy property basically and if they're not calling you how are you finding properties yeah. so yeah. that makes sense to look at as ways so that's, of investment that's question two we'll ask everyone as well and then a big one I mean money I mean how do you pay for yeah, this stuff? a lot of people get this the, we get this question quite a bit how do you fund real estate investment deals um, what's the best way to structure it, the creative financing, and who lends it, who lends on it, and how to do it. Um, that's something we'll ask people yeah. as well. Yeah. We have some key, key and then part of our that. core um, that we want to make sure we're mindful of as we continue, and I think it's a responsibility as a real estate investor too, mm -hmm. is being mindful of the impact that we are making as we are moving forward. So the impact going outward, uh, local community, families, mm -hmm. people, um, as we do purchase real estate um, at, in, in an investment format, mm -hmm. um, yeah. there's so many different ways that this does make an impact it, locally uh, with so many different families in a very positive way. Absolutely. So we'll make sure we talk about that. Absolutely. It'll be interesting to see the kind of the responses to these questions all across the country when we travel oh, through I multiple know. states. Um, as we know, real estate is different, little different price points, everything, everywhere we go, different motivations. So interesting to to see how people get started in, in uh, different markets. I agree. It is fun to hear the stories. Yeah. All right, so question one, how? I mean, how? What, g give me one example of how does it get started in real estate investing. Well, most people start the um, internet route and they take classes. Uh, they go to guru sessions, they call them, or, or uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, retreats, learn how to do yeah, this. Yeah. There's books you can read. There's um, bazillion um, internet articles on the same topic. Yeah. Um, that's one way, that's the way most people start. Uh, a lot of people will start kind of mailing their own uh, letters out. They'll start knocking on doors of abandoned houses. Yeah, that's one way to get started, but There's so many not. different ways to look at it. I mean, to get started. And so you gotta pick and choose your battle, I think, too. And yeah. uh, I think there's a couple of key tips we can give in terms of starting, and one of them is um, find a mentor, mm -hmm. someone that's actually done this and has done this successfully, mm -hmm. more than one deal, uh, preferably. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, if you can tag along in some way, great, if they're willing to do that um, for free. I'm, I'm trying to find ways creatively for free. Yeah, and I think that, 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 that people have to realize yeah. that there's a lot of people that are selling these programs yeah. to, to invest in real estate, and you don't really need to necessarily use those programs to do it. A lot of times, what I've found is some of these people selling these programs have actually people have done real estate investing in the past, but they aren't currently doing it. But anytime you have somebody selling you a system like that, mm -hmm. where they're not really providing much more than just some mentorship and some, some ideas, yeah, I feel a little leery of some of those costs. 
I agree. I agree. And I'm trying to be, can be creative here in terms bit, of the cost, but yeah. I know we've got the homebusters sitting behind us here, which is our our path. Well, that yeah, makes we'll, sense, but, we've got to go over the homebusters here. In yeah, probably just a few yeah. minutes here. Uh, so I think finding you know finding someone that you can learn from will is is a very key piece on that. Um, that that leads into how do you find a deal? I mean, if, if someone's not calling you directly and you're not going to do any mail and you're not going to do any advertising, how do you go find a property that makes sense to uh, look at as part as an investment? But as you look at that, I think you have to understand what's your exit strategy. Of course. Right. So are you going to keep it as a rental? Are you going to do a fix and flip? Are you going to? What is your What is your plan with the house? Right. Um, I think the traditional is a fix and flip, so we'll focus there on how to find a property. I mean, you can go knock on doors, you can go talk to friends and neighbors. Uh, you know, sometimes people are just really good at networking and they're able to stumble upon a property that way. I think that's probably gonna be the easiest and cheapest way. If you're good at that, start there, see what you find and stumble upon. Yeah. Um, but then know what to do in terms of how well, to move a, forward. And there's move a lot property. of people out there doing that too. So yeah, there you're is, one yeah. of many. Yeah. How have you seen some of the best ways to go about finding properties for real estate investors? My, uh, well, the biggest way to get leads is your connections. Mm -hmm. Your business connections, getting, getting out in the field, meeting people. Somebody knows somebody mm -hmm. and somebody knows somebody who needs help. So to me, that has always been the best way to get leads is just connecting with people in your community so one of the questions that we keep getting is how do you find properties yep is networking and the power behind networking <clears throat> it is right there yep so you want to talk about a free way to go after and find uh, properties to purchase off market it is the power of networking guys it's as simple as that and this is how we acquired this property it is it so is. this is something that is uh i wouldn't say it's totally free to do but it's definitely <laughs> You know, it takes it's time. Customer driven, so you you want a one relationship with people. The relationship will, will yield really positive results if you put the time forth to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is more inexpensive than buying leads and stuff because oh. the leads that you get from your referrals are uh, really good leads. Absolutely. And you said, as you can see, we've already got crews here working yep. uh, on the rehab that's going to go back out on the market here when we're done. But so the referral, uh, the, the networking led to conversation with a local real estate agent, mm -hmm. and she brought us out to the house knowing that the best fit was not for the market. Uh, but she brought us out, and here we are, and we bought the house. Yep. Uh, so the power of networking, it is real. It does yep. happen. All right. Well, let's talk about the big red pink elephant in the room. And how do you pay for all this? How do you pay for all this? Yeah. All oh. That. <laughs> um, oh, so how do you, so you find a property? Three, so... How do you how do you close on well, the that, that's a thing? That's question number three that people always um, come to us. So how how do you buy property and and who funds that? Because mm -hmm. we all know it costs. You know, houses are not cheap. So how do we fund that? Yeah. Um, to answer that question, there's many different ways to do it. A lot of people will do. Uh, you know, they, they self-finance with their own finances. They'll um, have investors behind them that will mm -hmm. give them funds. They have private money. Then they have the whole array of hard money lenders that lend on everything for a property. You know, basically, they lend on the value of the property, not really yourself. Right. So that's why it allows you to buy a house that's unfinanceable by sure. a traditional bank. Um, beauty of home investors is, you can probably see it behind me, it's there. <laughs> so it's 100% financing uh -huh. on the purchase and the rehab for these properties. Yeah, but you have to be a franchise owner. Yeah, have to be a franchise owner. It's the only way to do it. And you gotta remember, you gotta buy them right. You can't go, I'm gonna buy a million dollar house for myself in the market, will you fund that for me? It doesn't work that way. No. There's gotta be some some uh, delta difference of, of what it's worth versus what you're buying it for. Sure. And those, all those numbers, we get a lot of questions of what those numbers look like. You know, if you want to call, reach out to us directly, um, we'll be happy to cover some of that. Yeah, I think that's good. But that's how we do it. Um, a lot of other people have hard money fund lenders. But traditionally, and, it's hard money lending that people use. And, and, then, yeah. and, and, and don't be fooled. There's a there's, cost by that. Yeah, don't be fooled. There's a lot of hard money lenders out yep. there. Um, hard money lenders for people who don't understand. Like I mentioned earlier, it's based on the property and not yourself. But the difference is that they'll charge higher fees. Mm -hmm. Higher mm -hmm. interest, higher usually higher fees. Some to get points. The points to get into it. Um, it's a cost of doing business. You know, it, it is a higher risk for everybody. So that's why they typically charge more. But... Um, that's how we do business. Well, and the hard money loan is not a traditional mortgage. Mm -hmm. It is a short-term loan, anywhere from three months to, say, a year. year. 
uh, right. typically on on the hard money loan, specifically for the house. Mm -hmm. And the hard money lender understands the intent of the house. The intent of the house is not to live in it. The intent is to fix it up and put it back on the market to it. sell it. Um, and sell it within that three to three three months to 12 year, month yeah. period. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. So how to get into real estate investing? Uh, there's a number of different ways. I think the easiest way is, um, uh, to do some research and understand what you're looking at uh, and find a way to find some leads or a property. Um, and then you know, finding, finding that lead source, whatever that might be, whether it's mail, whether it is word of mouth and networking, um, maybe it's on the market, um, but un then looking at that particular property and, and moving forward with buying it, mm -hmm. and that's the money. Uh, yep. Is number three. So. Yep. Uh, it, it's it's refreshing that we don't have to worry about advertising because Homebusters does that for us. They do. They do. <laughs> so that allows us time to actually go on road trips. Um, to have we have a buyer that'll take the phone calls and then do the actual buying for us. But all that stuff comes through Homebusters, and we don't have to lick a stamp or worry about who to advertise to. That's done. And that's the beauty of the system is that the leads come in. Yeah. And you can focus on buying the properties, rehabbing, doing whatever you want with them. Yeah. The, your your property your lead well, when your lead comes in that's for you you do what you want with it yeah it allows us taking that marketing um work off of our table allows yeah. us to then focus on our customers when they do call <clears throat> in uh, which has been fantastic it's a huge relief off of our back so yeah. you know whether it's mail online digital uh, you know, billboards radio television print it, they take care of all of it yeah so it's all nice. in compliance with all laws and a new um, telephone regulations and all that stuff, they take care of all that. Yeah. So it's all legitimate. We actually have CRM systems, the back end, that, as a homebuster franchisee, that allows us the, the proper way to text people and call people, keep track of data. Yeah. They help with all that. They do. So they keep us compliant. That too, system alone is something that most no, new investors won't be able to, to, to copy. It upholds a professional level yeah. Yeah. of what we do with integrity, um, and professionalism. And it keeps track. It keeps track of your business. Uh, yeah. you, you can't do you can't do this business full time and grow and have employees under you if you aren't keeping track of your business of where where the money's going, where the leads are, uh, when to follow up. Um, as you see, briefly you mentioned a little bit of integrity too. You can see behind us that there's actually some mission statements, uh, core values from Homebusters. So we we probably purposely um, sat here in this spot in our office because we believe heavily in these these core values and uh, kind of drives our business. So. Um, why tell people it when they can just read it and find it? <laughs> that's right. So, that's what they do. I know we have, you know, the yeah, home best advantage, 1,100 franchises strong, um, local and coaches. And we're growing. I mean, we're yeah, looking for more franchises. It's growing owners. and it's, um, it's not that, you know, we, we don't sell people and stuff. No. That's not what we do. We want people that want to do this business because they want to do it. Yeah. Um, if you want a real successful business with a lot of other people that do this, um, talk to us. And the beauty of if we have more people in this program that do this with us, the better we all are. Yeah. We're stronger. We work stronger as a group locally and nationally. So this is why we're kind of talking about what we do so people understand that there is a different way than besides the, the gurus and the online programs and the mentors that you never met. Um, there's a little different way of doing this. Yeah. And we're getting ready to go out on the road to talk yes. to people about it. So. Yeah. I'm we'll excited. Other, we'll meet with other franchisees yep. and get to see yep. not only how you know answer these questions, but also um, some of their work too. Mm -hmm. some differences in different uh, rehabs in parts of the country. It'd be fun. I love it. Just a South couple Dakota, of states. It'd be fun. And everywhere in between, we'll kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah we'll have okay. to see. Good. Uh, all right. So, how to get into real estate investing? Yep. Um, how do you find deals uh, or Leads. properties? How do you find Leads. properties? Yep. Money, how do you find the money to fund it? And uh, then I always like to understand from all of that, what's the impact that you make? Yeah, that's a big question. That's something that's forgotten in this industry is that what the impact is. It's not just to go out and make a buck and, you know, I made X amount of dollars for property. It's, it's more than that. It's, it it's about helping people. It's about um, creating strong communities and really providing things for people like, like new home buyers. You get a beautiful rehab house that they can actually live in for a long time. Mm -hmm. Not to I mention one the, of the, things. the time that you rehab a house. That we're usually in and out anywhere from two to six weeks, yep. and on average, I mean the minimum 
thirty thousand on up yeah. to a hundred thousand dollars, and to put that back into a local community with subs coming in, yeah. workers, that, and that fast materials too. It makes a big difference it's, for especially a smaller community. Just you know, yeah. you carpet people and stuff that are working, and it keeps people working. Yeah. So it's, it's that's something that is not talked about very much in this industry. No. I kind of wish it was. I but agree. we're here to kind of change that. We're here to really talk okay. about what this business is and what this means right. for us. Well, what do you think? Should we get ready to go? Yes. Out on the road? Yes. Go. On the road again. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Where's our, where, where's our route? We're at that Montana in a. Ah, somewhere in Montana. Yep. Uh, Laramie, Wyoming is our goal by Saturday. Yep. All right. And then uh, off to Denver. Denver. And Dallas. Then, uh, yeah, Dallas and Oklahoma. Uh, a couple stuff. Little Rock, Arkansas. Nashville. Nashville. Yeah. Have Indiana. Uh, over Ohio. Yep. Pretty much all of northern Ohio. And then eventually we'll go through Pennsylvania. Rock City, New York. Yeah. Uh, back into Kansas. Yeah. 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 Yeah.